Hello everyone. Welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. Today we will discuss about clavicle fracture and its anatomical plate fixation procedure. So let's begin the video. So we will start with clavicle medial locking plate. We are going to use a right side plate for this demonstration. Once you have placed this plate in the fracture site, to start with, we will fix this plate with a cortical screw, a 3.5 cortical screw. In order to do that, we have to drill through the non-locking hole with a 2.7 mm drill bit. This is the non-locking hole or a cortical hole. And this is the locking hole. Now how do you differentiate between a locking hole and a non-locking hole? There are threads made in the locking hole for the locking drill sleeve to get attached. For instance, we are fixing 3.5 mm locking drill sleeve and then we will use a 2.8 mm drill bit to drill through the drill sleeve. Then we remove the sleeve and use a depth gauge to measure the length of the screw required to be fixed. In general, the measurement comes around 14 mm, 16 mm or 18 mm. After measuring with the depth gauge, we will take the required length for the 3.5 mm locking screw. Let us just consider that for this instance, the length is 16 mm. So we will take a 3.5 mm locking screw, which is of 16 mm length, and then use a 3.5 mm solid screwdriver, connect the screw with it, and then fix the screw in the locking hole. As you all already know, locking screw gets locked in both the plate and the bone. This portion gets locked in the bone and the head of the screw gets locked in the plate. Now coming back to the non-locking screw, as I was discussing earlier, in order to fix a 3.5 mm non-locking screw or a cortical screw, we will have to drill with a 2.7 mm drill bit through the non-locking or the cortical hole. As explained earlier, you can see threads in the locking hole and the non-locking hole or the cortical hole does not have any thread so there will be no drill sleeve attached to it. Now after drilling through the non-locking hole we will use a 3.5 mm bone tap in order to clear the entry for the screw. Then again we use a depth gauge to measure the length of the screw required to be fixed. Just a quick tip, in case the length of the locking screw is say 16 mm, it has been found that the non-locking screw required should be 2 mm more than the length of the locking screw. So the non-locking screw or the cortical screw used will be 18 mm in this case. We will again use a 3.5 mm solid screwdriver, connect the 3.5 mm cortical screw or the non-locking screw in the screwdriver and then fix it in the non-locking hole of the plate. For cortical screw or the non-locking screws, it only gets locked or fixed in the bone and not the plate. As you can see for both these screws, this one is a cortical screw, this one is a locking screw. As you can see, the cortical screw is not locked in the plate, whereas the locking screw is locked. Thereafter, as per the surgeon's requirement, we keep on repeating the same process and keep on fixing as many screws as needed. This call is made by the surgeon only. For locking screw, for locking screw, 3.5 mm drill sleeve is attached in the locking hole. Then we use a 2.8 mm drill bit to drill through the locking sleeve.
then use a depth gauge and we use the same solid screwdriver in order to connect this locking screw in the locking hole. And lastly, we need to use a 3.5 mm torque limiting screwdriver in order to check the torque of the locking screws. This was for the clavicle medial locking plate. Now let us talk about anterior superior lateral clavicle plate. We are taking a left hand side plate in consideration. The proximal end of the plate will be pointing towards the clavicle region and the shaft should point towards the neck. Now in order to fix this plate, we will require two kinds of screws. It's a 2.7 mm and 3.5 mm system. There are combi holes in this plate. That means there are holes for both locking and non-locking holes. In order to fix the proximal part of the plate, first we will take a 2.7 mm drill sleeve. Now we repeat the same process as we did for clavicle medial plate. We will have to attach a 2.7 mm drill sleeve in the locking hole. Once you connect the locking drill sleeve, we will take a 2 mm drill bit and then drill through the sleeve. Thereafter we remove the locking sleeve and we will use a depth gauge in order to measure the length of the screw. After measuring the length of the screw that is needed to be fixed, We will fix a 2.7 mm locking screw for which we will use a 2.7 mm solid screwdriver. Connect the screw in that. Connect the screw in the screwdriver. And then fix the screw in the drilled hole. If the surgeon wants to fix a locking screw in the shaft region, then we take a 3.5 mm locking drill sleeve and then fix it in the locking hole of the shaft region and then drill through the sleeve with a 2.8 mm drill bit. After drilling, we will use a depth gauge again in order to measure the length of the screw that is needed to be fixed. Then we take a 3.5 mm locking screw and with the help of a 3.5 mm screwdriver we will fix this in the drilled hole in the shaft region of the plate. Once again locking screws gets locked in both the plate and the bone. In order to fix a non-locking screw we will have to use a 2.7 mm drill bit to drill a hole. Then we use a 3.5 mm bone tap if required to clear the entry of the screw. And then we take a 3.5 mm cortical screw after measuring the length required for the screw to be fixed. We again take a 3.5 mm solid screwdriver, connect the screw and then fix it in the desired hole. Always remember the surgeon makes a call of which kind of screws needed to be fixed and in which hole. Then we repeat the same process again and again to fix as many screws as required. Lastly, we take a torque limit screwdriver in order to check the torque of the locking screw. The function of a torque limiting screwdriver is it is used to check the final torque of the locking screw, which means it is used to check if the locking screw is fully locked in the plate. As you keep turning it, it will make a click sound once the screw is fully locked with the plate. So this is a 3.5 mm locking screw that we have fixed. So we are using a 3.5 mm torque limiting screwdriver in order to check the torque of this screw. 
We use the same procedure for 2.7mm locking screw as well. We use a 2.7mm torque limiting screwdriver in order to check the torque of the 2.7mm locking screw in the same way. Now lastly clavicle locking hook plate also known as the acronym plate available in both left and right side we are taking in consideration a right side plate for this demonstration this is an entirely 3.5 system plate in order to fix a locking screw we will use a 3.5 mm locking drill sleeve attach it in the locking hole then we use a 2.8 mm drill bit and drill through the locking drill sleeve after the drilling we will use a depth gauge in order to measure the length of the screw that is required to be fixed after measurement we take a 3.5 mm locking screw of the same length which is required to be fixed then we use a 3.5 mm solid screwdriver connect the screw in the screwdriver and then fix it in the drilled hole If the surgeon wants to have a non-locking screw fixed as well, we will have to use a 2.7 mm drill bit, drill a hole through the non-locking hole of the plate. These are oblong holes, so you can fix the screw anywhere. After the drilling procedure, we will use a 3.5 mm bone tap in order to tap and clear the way of the screw. Thereafter, we measure the length required for the screw to be fixed with a depth gauge, and then we take a 3.5 mm cortical or non-locking screw of the same length and again with the help of a 3.5 mm solid screwdriver we fix a screw in the drilled hole lastly again we check the torque of the locking screw here with the help of a 3.5 mm torque limiting screwdriver as the screws that we have attached are 3.5 mm locking screws we keep tightening till we hear the click sound the click sound indicates the locking screw is completely locked with the plate and we don't tighten it further if you have enjoyed the video like it share it if you are new to our channel subscribe it hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos if you have any queries comment below and we will surely reply back if you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry please click the link below in the description box and dm us to know more thank you and see you in our next video